going on? Welcome back to the channel again. See behind me today we have this beautiful blue Bennington 22 SLX. It's a 2013. The customer just got it out of winter storage. And we're going to get it cleaned up today. And make sure you stick around at the end for all the bonus footage. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Have the bell notification on. Because if you don't, you won't know about all the stupid traffic that goes by my house on a daily basis. Now let's get a look at this thing.
might be wondering, why would I just take all the time to vacuum the boat? Well, I really don't want the pine needles all over my driveway. It's one of the biggest reasons. This is actually cleaner. I wish I had filmed the one I did yesterday. Um, I'll throw some pictures of that one up now a little bit. Uh, that one was pretty bad. Older, I think it was like a late 90s boat. So when you get a customer, you're gonna wanna set some expectations for them. For what I'm charging for this boat, they're gonna kinda get what they would expect for the price. As you just look down here, there's pine pitch all over the floor. For the price that I'm charging this customer, that's not gonna come off. If they really wanted this boat done correctly, we'd be talking in the thousands to get this cleaned up correctly. Um, 400 bucks is all I'm charging them. They just want it clean quick and be done. This one's a lot cleaner than the one I did yesterday. The one I did yesterday was, they got their $400 worth out of me on that one. Um, so, big thing, pressure washing. Um, as you saw, I vacuumed up most of the compartments. You need to do types of things like that. You're gonna set yourself apart from other detailers. I actually, before I did detailing, I actually did work at a marina. I detailed boats. I worked there, I wanna say, for like six, seven years. Um, I hated it, because boats are an absolute pain. Pontoons aren't too bad, but regular boats, they're a pain. Especially when you get into the big cabin cruisers and stuff, you're basically cleaning a house. Uh, nice things this has, windshield comes off, so you get all the gook that's in there out. Kind of a nice feature. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get the pressure washer out. I'm gonna do the outside, wash the whole outside down. Then I'm gonna work my way to the inside. And then that's it, it's done. It's, it's really quick clean. You don't have to dry anything off, nothing. It's, I actually like this type of cleaning on boats. I'm not a big fan of doing the, like, you know, the regular boats. Pontoons are one thing. So we're gonna get the stuff out, pressure wash everything down. Scrub everything down and then we're done.
Now, unfortunately, who is you knock it off for a hundred spraying you? Who is that guy? Now, unfortunately, the uh, the staining here, yeah, that's that's not gonna go anywhere. My cameraman is gonna get shot with this pressure washer in a minute. So there really isn't much I can do about that. I mean, there's some things you can do. You can probably get Tylex or. I don't know. It's it's probably been so long on there. There's a lot of pine pitch trapped in there too. That, like I said, four hundred dollars. You're gonna kind of expect one thing, and well, this is kind of what you're gonna expect for four hundred bucks. Waving to every car that goes by, so every song, beep, 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 the cars, I have no clue who they are. So as some detailers on YouTube would say, a grueling 13 hours later. That's not true. I think this took maybe like two hours and we're done. But it looks much better. You know, it's not all wintry. The aluminum looks a little nicer. That's it. That's it for today. So I guess you're going to have to come back next week and see what else we're going to do. So remember, please like, subscribe, have the bell notification on so you don't miss out on all of this wonderful, awesome content. And of course, the 8,000 cars that drive by the house every day. I have no clue who they are. That's what my buddy does all the time, though. And uh, please share with a friend. Leave a comment down below. 
We'll catch you next time. Did I go do a good job? Was that good? Okay. He said it was good. All right. Look, even the green stuff's gone. Do you know why the duck went to jail? You're gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me? Oh, he was uh, he was doing quack. See, kids, that's why you don't do drugs. You end up like this guy. I don't I don't even know what he just did. Scrub in the poop deck, sir. Can you see this area? <laughs> yep, we're good. Okay. You filming this? Because I didn't think they were going to film Canada. And I wasn't going to try to film Canada. Ready? Clear. Uh, wait, what, what do you want me to say when I'm ready? What? What do you want me to say when I'm ready? You ready? Well, yeah, but don't I have... Is it like ready or go or action or cut or clear? Or Ghost what? team clear. One. Ghost team clear. One. You've been filming this whole time, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Two is, do you know what would be really funny with this? Huh. If you took this boat to the drive-in and you had it, <laughs> you had like 16 people. <laughs> is it per the car load? Because, uh, yeah, I only got one car load. That would be funny. I think that would be really funny. What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what do I have to say? You're supposed to say to me. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I thought you were supposed to say that. No, okay. why would I say that? Uh, well, I got some bonus footage now. Here comes another car. How you doing? Hello. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll cut that. Now that you know how to do it, and have my voice while I'm talking in the background about the boat, and you're just showing all the different film spots of all the dirtiness, you know, like the pine needles that are all down in here. All the Come on aboard, matey! Uh, 13. Okay, so this is a 2013. Go. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You'll see behind me, we have a 2013 Bennington 22 SLX and the goddamn cars keep going by. Jesus Christ, I'm do this again. What the fuck? <laughs> It'll give me a bunch of boop, 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 boop. Are you still recording? Yes. Okay.